Hey everyone, this is Life from Technicia Studios here for another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to overclock your uh, NVIDIA GPU with the help of NVIDIA Inspector. Now, this is the name of the software which we are going to use in overclocking our NVIDIA GPU. Now, with the help of this software, you can uh, like overclock any of your NVIDIA GPU, but at this time, uh, we're going to overclock GeForce GTX 660. So, it is the application which we open here is the memory size which is 1.5 gb uh, 1.5 gb uh, is a memory type which is D gddr5 uh, some more information which is the gpu clock which is set as default it shows the default clock and it is a clock which we have to set and it is set at default which is 824 megahertz and the uh, fan is set to 28 percent it is auto and the here is the temperature and the power and the voltage so to overclock it, you have to click on show overclocking. Now after that, it will, it will give you an a warning regarding overclocking. Now we're gonna do a minimal overclocking, so you do not need a so worry about your hardware. As um, I also do not have a uh, external cooling system, but a stock cooling system on my X51, as it is a small form factor. So I, also I'm gonna overclock just a um, little. So here you have to uh, base clock offset. You have to set it on about uh, one thirty because uh, after one thirty, if you don't do not have a, a cooling system, it become your computer will become unstable. You have to just set it f by uh, one thirty to one forty. So the memory clock you have to like set between four hundred to five hundred. In this case, like I'm gonna set to uh, for 400 because uh, I've been, when I set to 520 or 530 my camera was like unstable and my games were crashing so I prefer 400 megahertz is uh, very nice so you don't have to like change the power target because it may destroy your system just click on apply clocks and voltage now you can see a significant change here it will show the GPU clock has been changed to 824 to 954 which is a significant change so it helps a lot and uh, after like starting a game the temperature will increase the without overclocking my temperature like goes to 57 58 but after overclocking it like goes to 63 or 64 degrees celsius so thanks for watching and one more thing that if, if you want that after starting a game you don't have to set these settings again and again you can just click on create clock shortcut and it, it will create a shortcut and you can just open this file and this settings these settings will appear so thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos tutorials giveaways etc thank you